The Queen's youngest grandchild James, Viscount Severn looked heartbroken as he attended the Queen's funeral to say his final goodbye to his grandmother. James and his sister Lady Louise Windsor have joined senior royals at the state funeral of their grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. Lady Louise, 18, and 14-year-old James accompanied their parents, Prince Edward and Sophie Wessex, at the service at Westminster Abbey. Louise and James showed maturity as they joined their older cousins at the Queen's funeral, as they sat together with Beatrice and Eduardo. Prince Edward and Sophie Wessex's daughter looked emotional as she wore a black dress and headband, while a smart-looking James looked down at the ground in a black suit and tie. The Queen's youngest grandson looked devastated during his grandmother's farewell service. Fortunately, in a moving moment, he was seen being comforted by Princess and son-in-law Mike Tyndall. Pictures show the former England captain resting his hand on the back of James, his cousin-in-law, as they walked close together at Westminster Abbey. The 14-year-old was also seen sitting alongside his mother and sister Lady Louise as they joined the rest of the royal family at the funeral. During the service, Zara and Mike sat in the front row, alongside Zara's brother, Peter Phillips, and Prince William, Kate Middleton and their children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte. The funeral comes after Zara Tyndall joined her cousins for a grandchildren vigil around the Queen's coffin as she was lying in state at Westminster Hall. The eight royals, including Princes William and Harry, stood around the royal standard-draped oak coffin, with their heads bowed. Mourners filing past slowed almost to a stop to look upon the younger generation of the royal family as they stood in the spotlight, united in grief for their grandmother but maintaining their composure, just as the Queen was famed for throughout. Tell me a little more about Mike, his wife Zara Tyndall was very close to her grandmother thanks to their shared love of horses and riding. Zara once said, I curtsy to her every time I see her. The thing with my grandmother is she is still my grandmother and she's very approachable, but she's also from an era where that was how it was done. Mike has also spoken fondly of his memories of the Queen and they were often seen chatting at engagements. During an interview with The Telegraph last year, Mike praised the Queen and described her as an amazing woman. He said, I can only say how kind they've been to me, and how welcoming they've been to me since joining the family. And how they've made my family welcome. I've always felt part of it and I think that's down to what an amazing woman the Queen is. They're a fantastic family. The Queen was often seen with the Tyndalls at racing events and have been photographed chatting and joking at Royal Ascot over the years. Back in 2019 Mike made the monarch chuckle when he showed her what he was hiding under his top hat at the annual event. Looking very smart in full tails, Mike took off his hat as he greeted the queen, but he then surprised everyone by pulling something out of it. She looks a tad unsure at first, but after he makes a quick comment she starts to giggle and Princess Beatrice does the same. Mike later explained what happened to royal expert Camilla Tomini, revealing that the item was a gift for his daughter. It is a chocolate hat that I am taking home for my daughter Mia, he said. I was given it at lunch but it is really annoying to store in a pocket so I decided to put it in my top hat instead.